The project Mixed Signal seeks to follow the history of radio in India as a story about an object on travel. Me, Hassan and a further quite diverse group of collaborators and participants seek to make audible an imagination of post-colonial technological modernism. It is an attempt to compare radio objects itself to an everyday circulation of voices and music to media objects. The accessibility to both historical narratives, its creative and open availability is a main issue. Old archival footage, sounds and pictures from the GD90 Museum in Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu was meant to become the base to develop browsing categories for the website. The users will be able to navigate through images transformed by sound experiments and old letter conversations on an intuitive level. Through a series of three workshops, new and old ones, right now on October 22, we want to create a shiftable experience, leading to reuse of the proposed material and an art tech understanding of it. During the time span of one day, we want to experiment with one's own voice, words as a means to deconstruct the language, and the importance of the visuality of a script by streaming radio or hear sound. art collection addresses codes in terms of the general platform as it is built on which is the code based web platform but also in terms of the artworks it curates as we also focus a lot on digital art meaning code based art creativity is self-explanatory as we are an art platform and collection whereas creativity plays an important role and communities as we're trying to build a community around climate art and facilitate the space further through building this platform. The project leverages from open source in terms of the frameworks that were used to develop the actual platform and its functionalities, meaning that artists can submit their artworks but also the audience and the general public could browse and discover all the artworks that are gathered on the platform. And the Climate Art Collection is giving back to open source in terms of the code that is publicly available, but also in terms of all the artworks that are proactively submitted by artists and curated on the platform, which are completely accessible for the general public. address this in the reverse order, communities, creativity and codes, because that's how Delta Lives progressed and how it was structured in a participatory manner, so that the communities we were working with informed the creativity and the codes. We evolved from community building with the local participants in the Sundarbans Delta to having weekly online classes and occasional offline workshops with them, which focused on creative thinking and self-expression. We collaborated with experts, artists and researchers from across the world to have these online classes and workshops. The results were some co-creations made by and with the islanders. Our first exhibitions of these co-creations happened in Kolkata in August 2022. Delta Lives also focuses on building an equitable web space with and for the island communities collaborating with creative technologists within the secured community and beyond. The result is a work-in-progress website which is four pages. One of these pages is 3D, immersive and interactive, and it lays the foundation of building a virtual environment of the deltas with multimedia stories from the ground over time. Delta Lives uses the CC BY and CSA license we work with open source codes and frameworks to develop the Delta Lives web. 
and we also readapt toolkits and methodologies of community engagement as well as creative prompts for workshops used within other communities. Other projects and communities are free to use and build upon some of the codes and processes that emerge from the Delta Lives project after getting our written consent of course. When it comes to infrastructure building for online and offline classes in the islands, we are looking to draw from an open source circular economy. The project is focused on upskilling and building the local decentralized repair ecosystem for medical grade equipment by creating a technical backend to map repair requests in semi-urban and rural areas and overlaying that with an open program that helps upskill not only biomedical engineers but also local communities. The approach will include hosting repair camps, training for makers, engineers by academic university partnerships in these regions and also open sourcing this documentation for maximum nationwide reach. In addition to this, the work will create framework for quality checks to be established when repairing locally. Collective open innovation and social entrepreneurship is the core tenant of the M19 initiative. We were able to activate over 150 organizations to work on open research and development to make oxygen concentrators locally in India in April 2021 using locally available materials. And we were able to prototype across 30 locations using the same principles of open sourcing and distributed manufacturing. We went from knowing nothing to making certified high LPM oxygen concentrator in eight weeks. One of the most interesting revelations during the initial research was that while on one hand we had a few thousand requests for repair of oxygen concentrators which were donated in the second wave, on the other hand we also found out that a bunch of hospitals who got the donations in the second wave had stocked the donations of these concentrators away and did not even know the status and conditions of these donations.